Porsche just hybridized the legendary 911 sports car. For the majority of Porsche purists, the concept of a hybrid Porsche 911 is ridiculous. In its eighth generation, the legendary German sports vehicle with a rear engine has mostly stuck to the original 1964 formula. However, Porsche just announced that they are currently working on the 2025 Porsche 911, which will be a hybridized version of the original 911. Porsche plans to make a significant upgrade that will define the 911's future. The German car maker claims that with a brand new platform, hybrid engine, and an array of additional driver assistance and safety systems, the Porsche 911 Hybrid will be the most technologically advanced model in the lineup. The new 911 Hybrid is expected to be lighter and more efficient than the previous model thanks to lightweight materials and an upgraded electrical system. But is the 2025 Porsche 911 Hybrid worth the wait? Born in 1963, the Porsche 911 has become a legend. And while it may still look similar, it's actually come a long way. The renowned Porsche 911 has gone through eight decades of production. The formula has mostly not changed throughout the years, with the exception of a few essential updates, the most significant of which was switching to water cooling. It is still the only high-performance car with a rear-engine configuration today. More significantly, the German sports car has avoided being hybridized and electrified. However, this is set to change with the upcoming 911 generation. Despite generating a lot of excitement in the automobile industry, Porsche's hybridization plan was not officially verified until recently. According to different sources, the Porsche Hybrid will have a combined output of more than 700 horsepower and significantly more torque than the Turbo S's already enormous 590 pound-feet. In today's auto business, a hybrid drivetrain is nothing new. Rather, it has become a standard component for all automakers. However, the car's dual power source accommodation architecture puzzled Porsche engineers for a very long time. The 911's performance-focused design and small 2 plus 2 classic configuration are well known, so a redesign to make room for an electric drivetrain would work against the car's appeal. However, according to Porsche, the electrification package has to be integrated into the 911 hybrid to align with the company's zero-emission plans. Also, Porsche says that the mid-cycle redesign scheduled for 2025 will enable the hybrid system and batteries to be optimized for increased power and range. However, the manufacturer must decide whether to make the 911 more focused on range or performance. Porsche also says the car will employ a similar battery pack and regenerative charging to save weight without significantly altering the design. On the other hand, the car's range might be greatly increased, but at the expense of a larger battery, which might eventually alter the vehicle's weight and distinctive appearance. According to current rumors, Porsche intends to introduce it with a motor, inverter, and small battery package without altering the car's rear engine configuration or sacrificing front trunk room. In addition, Porsche engineers are attempting to reduce the weight of the internal electric components to avoid compromising the center of gravity or handling characteristics of the vehicle. The Porsche 911 Hybrid is expected to hold a special place in the sports car world. It will serve as a link between the more mainstream hybrid era embodied by automobiles like the Toyota Prius and the high-performance hybrid supercars, such as the Porsche 918 and McLaren P1. The Porsche 911, which combines elegance, sophistication, and a thrilling feeling of speed and control, has long been considered the standard for sports vehicles. The hybrid edition will smoothly integrate hybrid parts with a revamped version of its powerful 3.0-liter twin-turbo flat-six engine all housed in the versatile new 992.2 chassis. After years of development, the company's new synthetic fuel may also prove beneficial for the Porsche 911. 
modern technology coupled with the legendary 911 DNA points to the Porsche 911 hybrid's potential for major success in the sports car industry. Although the specifics of the hybrid system are still being worked out, it is known that the 400 volt system in the new 911 hybrid will differ from the 800 volt system found in the Taycan. This suggests that the 992.2 Porsche 911 will be a fully hybrid electric car, or FHEV, with a twin turbo flat six engine powering the electric motor. Taking into account the packing limitations a PHEV powertrain would bring, the choice is sensible. It is challenging to fit extra parts like the charging plug, huge electric motor, and battery inside the 911's engine bay because of its limited size. Even while the 2024 Porsche 911 will eventually weigh more due to the hybridization, it will still be lighter than a plug-in hybrid system. Oliver Bloom, CEO of Porsche, has also highlighted in a prior interview that the upcoming Porsche 911 hybrid would be the highest performance 911 of all time. It's the first electric car of Porsche and we got such a big response, so um, we are very happy about it. Porsche hasn't disclosed many details about the car's powertrain, but it's likely that the company will use an innovative 10.8 kilowatt hour battery driven electric motor in conjunction with the already successful 3.0 liter twin turbo flat six engine. The car will be able to travel 43 miles on electricity alone, thanks to the electric powertrain. On the other hand, it's possible that the current flat six engine will undergo some changes. When it comes to performance and endurance, the Porsche 911 is already a favorite. In addition, its small size and excellent handling make it even more competitive with its rivals. The future model will benefit from the 911's popularity and commercial supremacy, but there will also be new obstacles to overcome. The new hybrid 911 could need to live up to the high standards set by its fans by offering an elegant performance without drastically altering its recognizable design or superb handling. Given that the 911 GT2 RS now has 690 horsepower using fuel only, it makes sense to assume that the 911 hybrid will have at least some more juice due to the additional electric powertrain. With the 911 992 weighing as little as 1,480 kilograms, the Porsche 911 has also managed to hold on to its relatively lightweight status, making it both smaller and lighter than rivals like the Nissan GTR, which weighs 1,745 kilograms. Although the precise count of electric motors is still unknown, Porsche has secured the trademark for the 911 Turbo E Hybrid brand, indicating that numerous electric motors may be used to power both axles simultaneously, similar to the Panamera E Hybrid model. Given that the Panamera's E Hybrid system adds about 805 pounds or 365 kilograms to the car's weight, Porsche's optional lightweight package would be helpful to the 911 Hybrid, helping to offset the extra weight. The upcoming Porsche 911 Hybrid prioritizes outstanding performance over fuel efficiency to set a new standard as the lightest hybrid vehicle ever made. So, the 911 retains its very lightweight qualities even despite the common belief that hybridization increases weight. The 919 hybrid race car served as inspiration for the hybrid powertrain, which consists of a lithium-ion battery and a motor generator unit that efficiently transfers power to the front axle and eliminates turbo lag. Moreover, the 919 hybrid race car's self-charging capabilities will be incorporated into the hybrid 911. The new Porsche 911 hybrid is anticipated to hit the market 2025, with a new model taking orders as early as 2024. Although the Porsche 911 has never been marketed as an inexpensive car, incorporating hybrid technology borrowed from motorsports may lead to a price tag that makes the 911 hybrid unjustifiable for many potential purchasers. You can anticipate starting prices for entry-level vehicles at approximately $108,000, while the Turbo S Hybrid is expected to cost more than $218,000. With this high price tag, 
The Porsche 911 Hybrid is expected to live up to its reputation for producing high-performance luxury automobiles, which it perfectly does. This next-generation hybrid will also likely be a performer due to the internal combustion engine and electric motors, which will collaborate to generate an astounding power level. But will it still retain the legendary title and pure spirit associated with the 911 moniker? As of now, we will have to wait and see. What do you think about the Porsche 911 Hybrid? Is it worth the wait? Comment below and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like these. See you in the next one.